So as you saw, I swung by Raw Stress for Less after I had left the gym and came across this. Cremo Sandalwood and Suede. I have no idea what this is supposed to look, smell like. I literally haven't even looked at the notes. Top of Fig Leaf, Mid Sandalwood Basis Suede. Sounds like it has potential, so we're going to bust this one open and give it a smell. An adventurous blend of Fig Leaf, Bold Sandalwood, and Smooth Suede. I mean, for 13 bucks, it's worth trying, right? Here we have it. Cremo Sandalwood and Suede. The last one I grabbed from them was Ice Citron, Citron and Driftwood, which was okay. It's pretty harsh at first, kind of in the realm of a Diorum Cologne-esque type of thing. Typically, they smell like certain fragrances. Um, Spice and Black Vanilla, the best one, smells like Spice Bomb Extreme, for example. So let's, uh, nothing on this hand. See what it reminds me of. So we'll give it a second, because... That is familiar. I smell it out in the air. It actually has a little bit of spice to it. Could be the suede. I mean, they give a three-note note breakdown. I don't know if that's necessarily the case if it's only the three notes, but... Oh, that's smooth and buttery. That's probably the smoothest Cremo fragrance I've smelled. I'm surprised. Normally, they're a little, little, little harsh and chemically synthetic in the top, and then they settle down. This is familiar, but I can't pinpoint what it is. We'll check in a minute. Sniff on it for a little bit. This is really nice, though. This, this is like a, a good dense fragrance daily and e mainly evening wear, I would think, for spring and fall. Definitely not a good summer fragrance. Very creamy, but it's buttery. I think the suede-sandalwood combo makes it very creamy and buttery. It's very nice. Has that juicy, fruity smell of fig. It's a little spicy, like I was saying. Musky and spicy. It's actually pretty nice. I'm surprised. I was expecting for it to be not as good as it is. But that's pretty good. Yeah, there's a spiciness to this. Let's, uh, let's pull up Parfumo. A few minutes later. Okay, so Parfumo doesn't have the Cremo fragrances. I guess we have to... Go to Troll Grantica. One minute, 37 seconds later. Huh? Troll Grantica doesn't have it either, so... I don't know. So, can't really tell what it's similar to according to people on the internet, because two of the places... I know iFragrance won't have it. They typically do... They've been doing newer releases over, like, the last two years, and I don't think they have the Cremo stuff on there, so... It smells familiar, but I definitely, definitely cannot pinpoint what it's similar to. But I can tell you it's much nicer than I anticipated it to be. This actually smells really good. For 13 bucks, I mean, great pickup. <laughs> you know, great pickup. If I'm giving this one a first impressions rating, I'm actually quite surprised. I think it's very good. This is actually very good. I love a good suede note. This is actually pretty good. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Sandalwood and suede from Cremo. Who knew? I mean, some of you probably knew that have tried it already or have it. But, yeah. Pretty damn good, 7 out of 10. Well, that was a quick run around one of the Ross Dress for Less here in Colorado Springs where I picked up Cremo, Sandalwood, and Suede. 7 out of 10, not too shabby, it's decent. I'm going to wear it within the next week. Spend a little time with it, actually. I'm going to keep sniffing on my hand the rest of the evening while I watch WrestleMania Saturday. And until next time, do me a real quick favor, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. I do appreciate all the feedback, and I love hearing from you guys. How many of you have this and have tried it? What do you think about it? What does it remind you of? Because it's on the tip of my tongue. I can't pinpoint it. Please, sound off in the comments on what you think it's most similar to. Who knows? And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on Cremo, Sandalwood, and Suede, and give it a spray now, I don't know. You might end up thanking me later. Have a good one, guys.